Merry Christmas. Jamesy is a simple kid. <laughs> he's got this flat board and he's set. Good morning. We're so happy that you're here. We eat daily vlog. So if you like this video, we hope you'll come back time and time again. Oh gosh, Teddy just realized he's got toys. He's a little bit, <laughs> he's still waking up a little bit. Did Santa come, honey? Wow. Are you, are you playing your piano? Well, James doesn't want to do anything right now except to play with this awesome toy. <laughs> Which I shouldn't complain about because <laughs> I just tried getting James to open up one of the gifts from us and he didn't want it. So Sarah's like, well, I mean, like, I guess you go make coffee or something. And I was like... Yeah, we said we could take this as slow <coughs> or as fast as it went, you know? Try to open this gift. You have so many more gifts to open. Where my heart lies. <laughs> <laughs> Who's <Hey>. tired? <laughs> what you got? They fell off the ring. They just got a ring. Got your limes. You got a taco. Ooh, that's cool. I got avocado. <laughs> okay, okay. <gasps> Wait a moment. <laughs> wow. <gasps> looks like James. Chef James is making us some apple cider. Or apple sauce. Cutting board. <laughs> Just like at the park. Go mow the lawn. You did it. <gasps> Peekaboo. <laughs> was a success. Oh, oh yeah. This is a favorite from Miss Rachel. Couldn't believe his eyes. And it would not be Christmas morning without a chocolate orange. What was your Christmas present this year? My Dale of Norway sweater. <laughs> yes, me too. We should wear them. We should, yes. Yeah. So Sarah and I decided when we got our Dale of Norway sweaters because they are very luxurious sweaters. But that was going to be our Christmas gift to each other. A morning like this just is very humbling 
and my heart is very full and I'm just so, so grateful for so many things. And if I talk about it, I'm not gonna be able to talk about it. So, um, just very full hearts over here with with these little ones. But the plan for today is to stay home and just enjoy a relaxing morning. We'll probably make some breakfast, watch movies, play with all the toys. And then this afternoon, we are going to stop by Peter's parents' house. And then we're going to spend the evening at Christina's and have dinner and Again, just, just a really peaceful day. We're gonna stay in our jammies. Teddy's so cute jumping. Um, but yeah, just a cozy, cozy day to soak up our favorite, our favorite day of the year. We are Christmas people through and through. You know we're gonna be listening to Christmas music like January 4th. <laughs> um, but yes, just, just a, a full happy day with no expectations, just to enjoy. It's desolate in downtown Chicago, as it should be. But I'm being that guy, and I have to run to the grocery store for the silliest thing. So I used to work at the Disney store, so I used to work retail. And I like have a special like irk, irkiness about having to go to a grocery store, or a store at all, or any kind of service industry like that on major holidays, because I used to have to be there for those and I would be upset. But um, I need, I forgot toothpicks. Toothpicks, I forgot toothpicks for the antipasta Christmas tree. I also almost forgot to roast the ham. We're all just sitting around having a good Christmas morning. I'm like, wait a minute, we're supposed to leave at one. It's 10, I don't have the roast in. That's gonna take hours. Then it's gotta cool and get carved. So. A little bit of anxious moment there, but we're, we're bouncing back. I actually think that door's closed. Good. I'm glad they are. But we're gonna get toothpicks. Walgreens for the win. Our first movie of the morning is The Grinch. We got a little Christmas craft. I, I laid this paper down for um, to keep the table clean. But I mean, we can paint, we can paint that too. This time left. Look at Teddy. What are you doing? You you're in the fridge. All right, the Christmas Day parade has started. A break from the Christmas movies. Yes, and then we're gonna get going on some breakfast and more prep on our antipasta tree. Oh, I want to be there right now. Don't you? Less than 10 days. A week from tomorrow. We're leaving. He's been, he's been playing all morning. Oh my goodness. A Christmas morning skillet, salsa, ketchup, potatoes, soy chorizo, onions and peppers. Hey. Looks good, huh? All right, we somehow made it in the car. Only a short amount of time after we were at the time we were supposed to. And uh, we have all the things we need. Gifts, antipasta supplies. And it's a toasty day in Chicago. It's 13 degrees out. I'm editing in the car today because we're making it work for the holiday. Um, but I had just realized that we had never said that the boys got really, really cute Love Your Melon hats. I don't know if you've noticed them on the vlog. James has the one with the Mickey Mouse ears, and then Teddy's is just like beautiful crocheted white and black. Um, and our dear friend Jenna, who we met through ACS and Run Disney, and she happens to live in Chicago and was in the Disney College program the same time as us, our meant to be friend of all friends. She actually has left ACS and now works for Love Your Melon. She was so kind to send the boys them for Christmas presents. Um, so hopefully you'll see Jenna a lot more in Disney, like in not working the run Disney, just like 
be in our pail. Um, but yeah, wasn't that so kind of her? Still the giving. She is, yeah, she's like in Love Your Melon, like her role is to, to give, and it's mostly, it's geared towards childhood cancer. So maybe I'll put a link about Love Your Melon in the description if you want to learn more about that. But she is just a giving, caring, gracious angel soul that we love so much. And obviously we're going to be sad that she won't be at Run Disney with ACS, but maybe she'll run. Maybe she'll come stay with us. Maybe she'll just come to Disney World for fun. Alrighty, we're at Christina's and you know, she's gonna hook it up with the dips. We got the brie pull apart again. Yummy little Reuben bites. She forgot she had squampus squim. What is that sauce? Just cocktail sauce? For dinner tonight, we're doing stuffed shells. Get the sauce going. Here, how long have we been here? And you're still working on it. <laughs> Forty, we got here at like three twenty. Uh -huh. Ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to make this antipasta treat, usually it's a treat. Today there was no tree, like styrofoam trees at Michael's. So Peter got crafty and made a cross. And it's pepperoni, salami, ham, provolone cheese, cheddar cheese. It's like and the then Holy you... Trinity. You get baptized in a salami, pepperoni, and ham. Exactly. So it's a really lovely snack, but. <laughs> It's a labor of love. It's a marathon, not a sprint. I got Teddy down for a little snooze. And in that time, things are coming together with dinner. Look at this sauce, these shells. And we're gonna stuff them. We have to monitor James so he's not stuck to the TV this close to it all the time. But I love how his head just peeks up just above it. Karen Christina got from Grant's parents a sound bar with a subwoofer, and it is. Very nice. You love this. <laughs> and it is a good time. Yes. So this is the uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Peter loves this song. Did you guys know that Violet and Luca's room is my childhood bedroom? At one point, me and Christina had bunk beds over here, and then we had twin beds on either wall, kind of like them. And then it was just my room. Before I got married, this was my room. Um, we are getting ready to eat dinner. We're kind of full from appetizers, but we are also saying like, we just leave the shells out and snack throughout the rest of the night. Cause we're like, we've been looking forward to this meal for so long. Sometimes our eyes are bigger than our stomach. My baby transformed into a different baby. <laughs> Hi, Puppy Sue. You say, Yay, Puppy Sue! Yay, Sue Sue! Yay! She can clap. Yay! Peekaboo! Mmm! Is it good? So, a very delicious dinner. Bringing some of the leftovers out to the garage. Christina and Grant have a garage fridge from when they got a new fridge in their living room or their kitchen. So I'm bringing some leftovers here. I want to show you one of the exciting things about us getting a big place in Florida with a garage is that some of these tool containers like these right here, like this workbench here is uh that's ours like that's sarah's and i's from um when we cleared out sarah's parents house um these were sarah's grandpa's and they're now they were sarah's dad's and now they're sarah's so that that and that cool locker from sarah's grandpa and sarah's dad that we will get to pass on to james and teddy and our future children to use so i'm very excited to be able to access those more regularly. I mean, I use them when I'm here and I bring some of them home with us when I need to use them, but very cool. Christina, you yeah, did yourself. Dinner was delicious. You did your mom proud making the stuffed shells so delicious. I think I had like six. I think James had like four and a half. <sighs> what a great Christmas dinner. Um, 
Now we're just gonna go back. I'm gonna make a pot of coffee because Grant's parents are actually in town visiting. Um, so now that there's not just like me and Grant being the only coffee drinkers, I'm gonna make a after dinner pot of coffee like a proper Italian family. Um, so we're just gonna relax. It's it's ten to seven and it feels like it's one in the morning. So I don't know how late tonight's gonna be, but it's gonna be a fun, relaxing Christmas evening. Look at this girl. Hi. Did your cousins get a kitchen too? Are you doing the dishes? It's so sweet. Like Violet took the strawberry and like rinsed it off in the sink. Like that. Now someone wants a donut. A donut? We're playing restaurant. I got this little. Oh. But I just feel like it would take Teddy, you be nice. Get him, Poppy. Get him. We're just playing with all their toys. Where'd it go? There was a remote control car. The me and Vivi are making a fort. I don't know how we're both gonna fit under there, but we're gonna do our best. We're checking out with the new sound bar and subwoofer. We're so happy you're here. We do the vlogs. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. We're doing something wild that the Burkhats have never done before. I know we took it down very early last year because I remember that video. The feeling, the retching feeling. But it's the same scenario as last year. Yeah, so we need, well, look at our fancy chalkboard. From yeah. the new kitchen. Uh -huh. We leave Disney in seven days. We yeah. also have children now that have lots of toys now. Uh -huh. So we need the real like estate. Like they didn't have lots of toys before. <laughs> well, I'm going to say like before and after. Like yeah. it was, we barely made the real estate work before. Now they've got more toys. Yes. Um, so we're, we're saying goodbye to our lovely Christmas tree today. In joyous rapture that we will be in Disney World soon. Yes. Excuse my leftover lipstick from last night. I don't think we signed off. Right, the funny thing is this is going to be a two-parter. So, the first half is going to be <laughs> oh, Christmas. No. We're killing the Christmas tree on our Christmas vlog. And then taking down Christmas. The thing is we just want, like, we're going to make the most of our week. And we just don't want to be overwhelmed while we're getting ready to go. Our trip is a, is a two-week long trip away. Um, half at Disney. Half a Disney cruise. <laughs> you going on a cruise? You going on a cruise? And then an additional couple days back at Disney after the cruise. Eber, you going to Florida too? Um, and then a couple of days back at Disney for Festival of the Arts. So we're gonna be gone a long time. So we just we we need to take this whole week to prep and quarantine because we're not risking any sicky bugs before we leave. So Peter's family got us a bunch of Harry Potter candy and we're gonna try it today. Do you wanna try this with me? Oh! oh. This has butter beer inside of it. Oh, they're like little barrels. Oh, oh what's this, paper? Okay, you try it. I think we did leave these in the car overnight. I think they would have been a little bit like Evers, <laughs> a little bit like more caramely on the inside. Am I an influencer? There we go. There we go. I feel like they would have been like more caramely. Very good. Also, we meant it when we said <laughs> the tree was coming out. Oh my goodness. Nothing like uh, the day after Christmas chocolatey face with a giant Duplo's tower car. 
you help help me? All right, in the world of getting things ready for our big January trip, Evie girl just got her flu shot. I felt terrible because it expired and she needed it. And I could just, the look in her face when we got into the waiting room at our normal vet, she was like, wait a minute, what am I doing back in this room that smells like doctor and dogs? Like, what's happening? Because after the traumatic experience right before Christmas, and I was like, Evie, you're coming home with me. Like, it's not like before, and a quick shot, and we're coming home. So she's up to date on all of her medicines. And she did so good. She's got a haircut appointment next weekend. I've got a hair hair point uh, haircut appointment tomorrow. Sarah booked hers, I think, for Wednesday, maybe. So everyone's going to be fresh. Everyone's going to be so happy and ready for warm and sunny Florida and then the cruise. <coughs> It is nighttime. James is still in jammies. It's been just a lovely loungy day, huh, Dad? We did not show this yesterday, but James and Teddy got this big bluey house from their grandparents. I'll show it again later with it like done up with like all the rooms. But all the little toys are so cute. It is already well loved. Okay, a little bluey house tour for you. Peter had this set up. <laughs> it's cute. I just wanted to show like somewhat. There's like the girls' beds and the couch, the kitchen, bathroom, and kitchen. There's a conference of adults down here going on. Oh gosh, and they can, <laughs> they can dance Calypso. And then the bike, and then we got the RV, and John Luke is in the RV. We're almost like we did a good job relaxing today, but also setting ourselves up for like the next few days to be good. So well, we got rid of the freaking Christmas tree. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.